hey guys welcome back to my channel today I thought I would break out the vlog camera and film a little day in my life today and just kind of take you with me with all my activities today um, I'm getting ready for a photo shoot this morning I just have a very quick one I had a full one yesterday at the boutique but now we're doing kind of a lifestyle shoot in my town because we have a bunch of pretty tulips out so I want to get some cute pictures of a collection that they have coming soon so I'm just getting ready for that let me go ahead and set you guys here I'm just starting with hair right now I already put in my dry shampoo and then I'm gonna also spray in this heat protectant spray from Beach Waver so I'm just gonna brush that through and just split my hair into two sections so I can start curling I got my coffee already this morning I decided to go early because sometimes the line just gets so long and I don't want to be late for the shoot today. So for curling iron, I've been using this Bio Ionic one. I don't know if it has the name on it, but I did get it at Ulta. It's like a long barrel, so it's great if you do have longer hair. I bought it when my hair was a little bit longer, but still works great. So I usually have the temperature at 320 because I don't want to fry my hair. And I kind of just like run it through the piece and then clamp in the middle here and then kind of twist up let that sit for a minute get it a little bit warm and then i just kind of slide it down and i try to leave a little bit of hair out just because i don't want to have a weird crimp or anything like that and then i kind of just roll it out like so and then just kind of like straighten the end a little bit and i feel like that kind of gives the most natural curl i don't like to have it like too tight so yeah, my hair it should be pretty easy to curl today because I had it curled all yesterday. So it should hold pretty well, I would say. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a good week. I haven't done a whole lot. I've been kind of sad because I was supposed to go to a Morgan Wallen concert this weekend on Friday. But he had to cancel, or I guess not cancel, reschedule because um, he's having problems with his voice so i don't know i saw a bunch of drama on tiktok about it a lot of people were like oh like he didn't lose his voice he's just he was too drunk to perform so he like had to cancel his show i think it was in mississippi and he canceled right before he was supposed to go on so all the people were already at the concert and got to see like the other performers i think ernest and hardy but then yeah morgan just like canceled right before the show which is disappointing um it would have been nice if he canceled earlier probably for everyone but at least you did get to see the other performers and i guess he refunded everyone that show but yeah he canceled the rest of his shows for the week so he could get better totally understand but now it's not scheduled till september uh, i feel like that's so far away but i completely understand um, I had booked my hotel, which was so funny, like literally an hour before he canceled. And luckily I did get my money back on that one. So I guess, yeah, now I don't really have a super fun weekend. I was talking earlier, we have a tulip festival in my city. That's pretty popular in Iowa. It's in Pella, Iowa. Um, so getting ready for that. Um, lots of people in town. That's going to be next weekend. I'll definitely show you guys the tulips today. Since we're taking photos, I'll try to get some clips for you. And then after our tulip festival, I'm leaving for Charleston, South Carolina for a fun influencer trip. So it's very busy next couple weeks. Hair is done. I sprayed it down. I usually let it sit like this and set while I like get ready with my makeup and stuff, but I'm gonna do some skincare first. So I have been trying a new K-Beauty skincare line for the past couple weeks. I've been really enjoying it. It is called Coaxer and they are sponsoring today's video. I've been using some of the products in their Black Snail Collagen line, which I know sounds weird, but snail mucin is so good for the skin and I've loved how this just looks on the skin. It has snail mucin in here to help protect the skin from moisture loss as well as reduce blemishes which I do suffer with acne, but I will tell you my skin is looking pretty dang good right now after using the products. Also black beans to rejuvenate and nourish the skin, and then collagen of course to diminish fine lines and help with firming and lifting. This product has a really fun texture. It really reminds you of a snail because of the slimy texture that it has. Let me show you. So the cream, you just really need a little bit. Check this out. Ah! <laughs> Like, do you see that? It's so crazy. So it literally has that slimy effect 
I'm gonna go ahead and rub it on the skin. You can still get that like slimy effect on the cheeks too, but it just melts right into the skin and it gives you the most healthy glowing skin. And you guys know the first step with makeup is always a good skincare base. And honestly, I love this even on low makeup days because I just feel like it makes my skin just glow in the most beautiful way. And I have oily skin and it's not too heavy for that. It's actually very lightweight. I've really been enjoying this one and it just makes my skin look nice, healthy, and even. Like how pretty does that look? And yeah, it's not sticky at all. They also have a eye cream as well with the same ingredients and the same slimy texture. And I just kind of apply this all over the under eye area for extra hydration. So I've been loving these products. I feel like they're fun to use. I love how they make my skin feel and look. I feel like I really haven't been suffering with many blemishes either using these products. You can find their products on Amazon or their official website, which I will have linked down below if you guys wanna check them out. Now we can move on to makeup. All right, we're on to makeup. I am gonna start with eyeshadow. I have not used this palette yet and I figured I would go ahead and try it. Literally got it at TJ Maxx. It's from Give. It was like, I think $7.99, but it's just a basic kind of neutral, warm palette. So I'm gonna go in with this mid-tone brown. It's a little powdery, so hopefully this formula is okay. I feel like I've heard hit and miss things about it. Sorry, making sure all my primers blended in. Okay. It seems to be pretty soft and blendable, so I'm not really having too many issues so far. This one is the quad in Rich Girl, which is one of my favorite Gwen songs. But it's blending really nice, I think. I think it looks good. The true test is always the shimmers. I can see the shimmers maybe feel a little bit maybe dry on the eye, but it's still like it's giving. This is such a pretty just bronze, rich, warm look. My go-to foundation for photo shoots is always Too Faced Born This Way Matte. It's one of my favorites of all time. I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough, but it's awesome for oily skin if you like a decent medium to full coverage. I used this Laura Mercier smoothing powder yesterday, and I actually really liked it, so I'm using it again. It is their setting powder ultra blur which is one of their newer ones. And for some reason, I was scared to try this because I thought it would make me oily. It really does blur the skin though. But I mean, I did use the Milk Makeup Matte Setting Spray as well, but I did not get very oily at all yesterday. So I'm using it again, just kind of trying to get a feel for it. But so far, I think it's so pretty. Like, I feel like my skin looks so smooth after that. I've also been back into my Hoola bronzer. It's been so long since I've tried this. And it's a great tone when I have a little self tan. Because it's great, I would say, for medium, light medium skin tones. For lashes, I'm just going to reuse the ones I had on yesterday, which are these Kiss Ruffles. Um, obviously, I put them back on the thing just to kind of shape them. But I always reuse my lashes like at least twice. I feel like I could get two wears out of them. Okay, lashes are on. They really just complete the look. Next, I'm going in with my fave Hourglass Lipstick. This is the color Tide. And it's really creamy and it gives a little bit of shine and we can't forget a little setting spray spritz this milk makeup spray uh what is it called the pore eclipse has been amazing game changer for oily skin so i'm still in my pjs i'm gonna go ahead and change i'm gonna do my body care which i'm gonna use these pistache items i talked about this in a hygiene haul i don't know if it's up yet but this is one of the best scents ever. You can get it on Amazon, especially this mist. It smells incredible, and I want to smell like a almond pastry, so that's what I'm using today. It smells like pistachio and almond to me. They're kind of similar in my opinion. All right, I think we're ready to go. I just threw on just a plain black tea from Abercrombie. I have this mess over here. I'm gonna probably clean that up today. So now I'm gonna head out to our photo shoot. So I just got done with my photo shoot and I was just kind of walking around the town a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy like some lunch up here, check out some of the shops, but I never really, I don't know, explore my own city all that much, but it is very beautiful during spring. So I wanted to show you guys all the tulips we have. We also have the largest working windmill in the United States, which is pretty cool. So it looks very Holland-esque. So I'll definitely show you guys some clips.
these tulips are the nightmare tulips and they only sent 215 to the United States so we have a few of them here and they're super rare they're kind of like a very dark purple they almost look black they're very cool so we also have this little Molengrat area where we have this canal which is supposed to kind of be reminiscent of the canals in Amsterdam so it's just a cute little area has this nice little bridge this is our movie theater over there and yeah it has beautiful just brick buildings but super cute spot to check out of course no boats inside <laughs> it's pretty small okay so I thought we would go to one of the bakeries in town Yarsma's bakery straight ahead there always has a really big line coming up to tulip time and during tulip time so I mean that's just the most well-known one but I actually like our other one better Vanderplug so we're gonna see if they have a line and get some just fun Dutch pastries I just hopped in my car real quick. Um, I'm gonna order my lunch online, but I did stop at the bakery and I wanted to get a cute Pella cookie. How cute is that? So it's like a Delft wooden shoe cookie. And then I got the ever so famous Dutch letters. It's something you must get if you are here. They have them at all the bakeries, but it comes in the shape of an S. Uh, which stands for Santa Claus, and basically if I remember the story correctly it has something to do with Christmas they instead of Santa Claus they have Santa Claus and so it's an S for Santa Claus so this is just a really yummy sugared pastry dough filled with yummy delicious almond base it's one of my favorite things ever I never get sick of it so I guess I'm lucky that we can get those right in town. But I really wanted to get those treats to kind of show you some popular things here. People always go crazy for the cookies, the puff pillows, the Dutch letters. We have amazing bakeries in town. But I think I'm going to order lunch. And I'm going to go ahead and order from the Breadboard, which is one of my favorite places locally. And basically, they make their own breads. They have really delicious soup of the days and some yummy salads and sandwiches that you can get. And I'll just, I usually just do the online and pick up order but you can eat inside too it just gets pretty busy all right so i'm looking up what soups they have today which is thursday oh they have lasagna soup i've been wanting to try that one so i might get that and chicken wild rice i don't know the lasagna one sounds interesting so i'm gonna order that one okay so i just placed my order it should be ready in like 20 minutes but anyways i just kind of wanted to show you guys around where i live i don't know i used to be very private about it but i mean i love sharing my town where i grew up my dutch heritage i guess um, it's just it's beautiful especially during this time like I mentioned we have tulip time going on next weekend if you guys want to like make a trip down uh, if you live in Iowa it's always worth a stop the tulips should be in bloom I would say for still even maybe a week or two after tulip time it just depends on the weather it loves like spring weather where it's a little bit cooler and rainy it thrives but as soon as it gets too hot they start dying which sucks so the tulips only last a little bit but definitely come visit in the next couple of weeks and check it out there's lots of stuff to do there's lots of little shops I was thinking actually I might head out and check out a couple of the shops we have a couple really cute boutiques a couple very fun decor places as well so there's lots to do and lots to see I'm gonna probably go check out those stores while we wait to pick up our lunch Okay guys, I'm back home. Sorry, this lighting is really not great. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed my mini Pella tour, just going over a couple of my favorite spots. But now I'm gonna enjoy my lunch here. I did stop at a couple of the stores while I was waiting and I got a couple of graphic tees from one of my favorite boutiques in town, but 
You guys, this lasagna soup, oh my gosh. This is so good. It really just tastes like you're eating lasagna, but it has more of like the sauce. So that's what the soup looks like. It just has, you know, chunks of like the noodles in there. And then I did get the Gouda and dried beef sandwich as well. So now on the agenda, I need to put some stuff away. I want to clean the house a little bit because I kind of, I guess, have the evening off. I haven't decided if I'm going to put a video up. I have a couple that are pre-filmed, so I could do that, but it's still early in the day. Like, I feel like it feels late because I've gotten so much done already, but it's still like one o'clock. So I'm going to pick up. I have some PR to put away. I might film a little PR unboxing for my TikTok, and I can maybe show you guys a few of them as well. So I think we're gonna work on that, um, film these unboxings and put some stuff away. I've been in the decluttering mode lately, which I actually decluttered my closet. I decluttered a ton of clothes. I put them on my Poshmark page, which I will link down below. If you guys are size medium, large, XL, check it out, cause I had some cute stuff, but I needed to make some room. Um, so yeah, I got rid of a bunch of tops, jeans, and then I still need to work on shoes. I pulled a bunch out of my closet. I just need to list them still. So I have quite a bit going up on there. I also decluttered some candles and some fragrances. So I have been in declutter cleaning mode for the past few weeks because my space has just been very cluttered and overwhelming. Okay, so I thought I would actually start a little cleaning up. I know you can't see the mess, but I mean, there's just a lot of stuff I need to put away. You guys saw this table earlier. So I wanted to start in my maker room. I just grabbed a trash bag. I'm gonna clean up all the junk. I did a ColourPop unboxing yesterday, so I have stuff all over the floor. So I thought we would just clean this room and organize it a little bit. I got everything pretty much put away and somewhat organized. It's still a little bit messy, but I have like boxes of stuff for videos there. Um, I just got a vacuum and kind of mop the floors, but at least everything is put away. Okay, I have a couple packages here I could go through with you because I want to put these away. I'm trying not to do the big PR unboxings anymore and just kind of get things put away fast. So first up is Laura Mercier. So it looks like they have a new pressed powder, which is fun because I literally just used their setting powder today. This is their new Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder. I have the translucent color but I think it does have some other shades in there. This is what the packaging looks like and then you have your pressed powder. So this is really exciting. It's supposed to give perfected luminous skin immediately and over time. It's infused with chamomile extract and rose oil to balance moisture and give shine control. So it sounds like it's gonna be really good. We'll see if it's too illuminating for me, I don't know, because you guys know me and my oily skin. <laughs> uh, I got a box from Ofra, and they have these new airbrush setting powders as well. So more powder. So they have an oil control powder. They also came out with a pink powder for the under eyes. This is the brightening strawberry powder. And they also have their airbrush translucent, which looks kind of peachy almost, but it's supposed to be a translucent powder. These are available now. They're $23. Okay, you guys, this was so exciting, but I got a couple packages from YSL. They actually sent over their full-size original black opium fragrance, which I'm so excited about because I actually don't have the original anymore. I used it up probably years ago, just never purchased it because I always bought like the new versions of it. So I'm so excited to have the OG. I have gone through countless bottles of this one, one of my favorites. And then they also sent their Candy Glaze Double Care Lip Balm as well. YSL has the most gorgeous lip packaging. So yeah, it's just a lip balm. I don't know if it has like a tint. 
but it feels so good and it has like a slight minty smell to it. I think it's like very slightly tinted pink. This also came from YSL and they sent this over for like Mother's Day. So they sent this Libra set and it contains three versions of the YSL Libra, which is one of my favorite, again, fragrances. I love YSL scents. And they sent the original, the Eau de Toilette, and also the La Parfum, which is my favorite one. But basically they sent it as a little Mother's Day thing so you can like give one to each of the moms in your life. I also got a giant box from Milani. This thing is insane. We have new liquid lips from them. The Stay Put liquid lip, they sent the full line. So excited to try those. They have gilded eyeshadow sticks as well. I've been really into quick one and done eyeshadow sticks, little one single shadows all over the lid for quick access. So I cannot wait to try these. This heavy box is from Alani. Ooh, we got their new flavors. I'm so excited. Okay, we got the new juicy peach flavor. I feel like I'm gonna love this. I love peach everything. So this is a zero calorie drink it's actually pretty sweet though and it also gives you energy a lot of people i feel like a lot most people know about this brand now you can pretty much find them anywhere i think walmart and target has them but yeah there's zero sugar and they have two milligrams of caffeine and then we have cherry slush oh my gosh both of these sound incredible for spring i think that's it for the pr for now what is on my shirt I don't even know. I spilled something sticky on it. <laughs> I do need to get a couple Poshmark orders ready to ship out tomorrow as well today. And then my husband should be home within the hour. So then, yeah, I kind of want to have most of my work done by then. So I'm just going to continue kind of cleaning up. I really don't have much planned um, for the evening. We're kind of lame here. Like literally, most nights we just make supper and then we go to bed early <laughs> and watch a couple episodes of Manifest, which is coming back in June, but we just started it this year and we only have one more episode left, you guys. So I'm gonna have to finish that tonight. Um, and then I think the next season is the last one and then we'll have to find a new show to watch together. It's always hard to find one that we both like because I love really girly things. I don't like too much action, but I like the drama, if that makes sense. Like Manifest is just enough for me and he enjoys it as well. So let me know any suggestions you guys have for something to watch. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could start The Last of Us. I know that was on TV not too long ago just ended their first season so maybe we can watch that so yeah give us some ideas because we're waiting for the new season in June but yeah that's pretty much all I have to share with you guys today I hope you enjoyed spending most of the morning and afternoon together let me know if you guys like these kind of videos if you guys want to see more I know I don't usually vlog a whole lot just like at home and stuff just because I find that I don't really do that much exciting things but when there's fun stuff going on it's always nice to kind of whip the camera out but most of the time when I'm kind of vlogging it's mostly out at the stores I love to do shop with me's and stuff like that but yeah it's kind of fun just to be in my little town for the day but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thanks so much for watching don't forget to check out Coaxer skincare I feel like our skin has been looking flawless literally all day have not even touched up the makeup at all Seriously, it provides the best base for makeup and just to wear alone. The links are down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.